How would you like to boost your productivity, increase your chances of hitting your targets, and become a generally more successful accountant, and all by using something you already have? We're talking here about emotional intelligence, EQ, and the surprising ways in which it's been transforming employees and organizations. So what actually is EQ? Accounting bodies around the world tend to agree that emotional intelligence is made up of five core components. Self-awareness, empathy, internal motivation, self-regulation, and social skills. It's easy to see the small ways in which these skills can be useful professionally, helping you to persevere during busy periods, build more effective working relationships, or respond calmly to a snarky email. But they can also assist in adding real value to your business. Let's look at one example, PepsiCo, where the importance of EQ seems crystal clear. In a pilot project, executives who displayed high EQ competencies far outperformed their colleagues, delivering a 10% increase in general productivity, helping them to achieve almost 20% better results than executives with low EQ. For a company the size of PepsiCo, that represented a difference of billions of dollars. And this is all because a focus on EQ meant those executives were able to understand what makes people tick inside and outside of their organisation. Emotions drive people and people drive performance. How's that for a Pepsi challenge to the status quo? So these are eye-watering numbers, but what does EQ mean for you? As technology continues to automate more and more finance functions, accountants must find new ways to add value to their business. Not only could emotional intelligence help you to get more done and hit your targets, like at PepsiCo, but it could also improve your ability to manage client relationships and communicate finance insights to your organisation. It's easy to see why EQ is a must-have for any successful accountant. If you're not already in touch with your feelings, don't worry. Unlike IQ, emotional intelligence is not something you're just born with. You can learn and practice. So here are our three top tips for developing your EQ. One, be self-aware. Take a step back and think about how you feel and react in certain situations and how your emotions might impact others. Two, self-regulate. Make an effort to stay calm and control your emotions when facing pressure at work. Three, be empathetic. All you need to do is ask questions, listen and consider other people's perspectives. If you're still not sure that finance and feelings go hand in hand, just remember PepsiCo and how they turned emotional intelligence into success.